Hi guys and welcome to Fandom Newbie. My name is Shruti and today is a Women's Day special video. So today is International Women's Day. So in honor of today, I thought I'd make a video where I talk about some of the books that I find are super inspiring and super empowering for women. Now, of course, only women don't have to read these books. I think everyone should read these books, but they are such powerful and empowering women's stories that I really want to share with you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. The first book that is on this list is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Now this is a dystopian fiction novel that is set in like a world after civilization has kind of broken apart in the United States and a kind of like religious cult has taken over the United States and in this world women are stripped of like almost all their basic rights so the right to education the right to work just a lot of their freedom is stripped from them and it is quite a scary and horrific world for women and the reason why I think that this book is really important and very very powerful is that it teaches us just how bad society can get when it is like based on inequality and it also teaches us why it's really important for every human being everyone not just men and women but like different races everyone why it's very important for everyone to have equal rights and i think it has one of the most powerful messages that is in an unfair unequal society everyone loses this book is honestly one of the most gripping heart-wrenching one of the most impactful books that i have ever read so I highly recommend it to everyone. Everyone should read The Handmaid's Tale. The next book on my list is Becoming by Michelle Obama. Now, this is of course Michelle Obama's memoir and it's the story of her entire life. And this woman is just so, so inspiring. Like, honestly, this is one of the most inspiring memoirs that I have ever read. What I loved about this book and the kind of like the lessons that I learned from this book is one, the importance of education in anyone's life and especially when it comes to women's education I find it so sad that even in today's society there are so many young girls and so many women all over the world who are still denied education just on the basis of their gender and it could be because their family is too poor to kind of educate their daughters as well as their sons so they choose the sons because the sons will probably get jobs and be able to provide for the family but the daughters are just left without anything and that's just so sad to me so this book really really put the value of being educated and the value of being learned in today's world because that is so so important and the last thing that i found really inspiring about michelle obama's memoir was how she kind of described every single role that she had to play whether it was daughter wife mother and then the first lady of the united states and how she played all these roles beautifully i think the best lesson that you can get from that aspect of her book is that you don't need to sacrifice one aspect of your life to get the other. You can be an amazing mother, but you can also be an amazing leader and have like leadership roles in whatever work that you're doing. You can be an amazing wife as well as an amazing daughter. You don't have to choose one above the other. And honestly, you can have it all. And for everyone who tells you that you can't, tell them to suck it. <laughs> The next book that is on my list is A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hosseini. Now, this is a story of two extraordinary women and it is set in Afghanistan. What I loved about this book is how like the story of these women is interwoven with the political turmoil that takes place in Afghanistan and how Khalid Hosseini has beautifully interlinked these two stories. The things that stood out to me in this book is that it really captured the resilience courage and the sheer strength that women have when they are put in extremely dire situations like the will to fight against injustices and the will to just get out of those really bad situations that these women were put into just that was so so powerful so so inspiring to read and honestly this story will move you to tears like the two characters who are there in this book Lela and Mariam I mean I said this in the vlog that I did while reading this book. You can check it out over here if you want to check out my entire vlog. But those two characters have stayed in my heart and they are just 
amazing, amazing women and their story is so inspiring. Even though it's fiction, even though this book is a work of fiction, I can only imagine that real women in Afghanistan went through exactly what these characters have gone through and they probably reacted and acted in the same way as these two characters. So it just feels so real and so amazing to read. The lesson that I learned from this book is the importance of fighting for injustices. Um, if, there is, if there is any injustice that you face in your life, even if it's very small compared to the atrocious injustices that these two women face, even if it's a small injustice but you're facing it because of your gender, race or anything that is not within your control, if you face those injustices then definitely don't be afraid to stand up to it and definitely don't be afraid to fight for it because you don't deserve for things to be taken away from you just on the basis of your gender, race, sexuality, whatever. The next book that I want to talk about is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is one of my new all-time favorite books and it's basically the story of Evelyn Hugo who was a fictional actress um, in the 1950s if I'm not mistaken. Uh, basically it's the story of her life and uh, it's the story of how she comes about to have seven husbands and um, it's a story of love, it's a story of this one woman's sacrifice to gain fame and also in some ways it's a story of the price she had to pay to get that fame. The thing that I loved about this book is that while there are a lot of inspiring female characters in a lot of books who are very clean, they're very humble, they're they have like you know the hero aspect to them. Evelyn Hugo's character is extremely flawed and she has a lot of faults to her but the thing that makes her character extremely powerful and impactful is that she is unapologetic. She's unapologetic about the things that she has to do to reach where she wanted to reach and she owns her mistakes and her regrets and I was just so moved to read about that because you always read about heroes who do the right thing and who are you know like the typical heroes that we see in movies and stuff but here is an extremely flawed extremely strong-headed extremely unlikable character but you can't help but feel mesmerized by her and also gain some amount of inspiration from her the next book that i want to talk about is pride and prejudice by jane austen now this book is a classic like everyone knows this book everyone has heard of this book and it's the story of the Bennet sisters, the Bennet family, uh, basically there are five Bennet sisters and their mother wants to get them all married off and she's very obsessed with getting her daughters married off to some rich guy who can basically save them from their impoverished life. This book, honestly, the only reason you need to read it is for the main character, Elizabeth Bennet, who is one of the best female characters ever written, in my opinion. She's witty, she's fierce, she doesn't care about what society has to think of her, uh, she's a little bit nerdy, and she goes after what she wants, and she goes after what her heart wants. Plus, she does all this in 1800s English society, which was extremely patriarchal and extremely unfair towards women. And she is such a breath of fresh air and she's just an amazing character to read about. And I absolutely, absolutely loved her character and loved the way her story was written. Actually, read all of Jane Austen's books because Jane Austen really had the knack to write some amazing female characters, amazing strong female characters for that time period. Of course, if you look at it from like a 2021 point of view, some of the things, some of the actions seem a little bit traditional and still patriarchal but from an 1800s English society point of view these characters were groundbreaking and just absolutely amazing so definitely check out Pride and Prejudice if you haven't already and read all of Jane Austen's books. And the last book that I want to talk about is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Now this book I think I've spoken about a couple of times on my channel but I absolutely loved it. This is the book of a young Dominican American girl who lives in New York City and she is just this like boisterous, loud, emotional girl and she's going through puberty, her teenage years and she's just trying to figure everything out. The really good thing about this book is that it's written in like the form of poems. So the life of this girl, the coming of age story of this girl is written through like short poems which are so emotional and so powerful and just so so amazing to read. 
again the thing that i loved about this book is that while you have like you know a lot of young female characters who are demure and ladylike especially in like society where women are told that they have to be ladylike they have to sit in a certain way they have to act in a certain way because that is what is proper in society here we have this young teenage girl who is just like i said loud boisterous emotional she's not afraid to explore her sexuality and she just goes after what she believes in and she questions many things that society has kind of set up for herself especially in terms of religion because her mother is extremely religious in this book and it's just so so amazing to read because the poems are written in such an emotional and such a powerful way like you really feel the emotions of this girl and it's just a fantastic book so if you're into young adult fiction and you're into like coming of age stories then i highly recommend the poet x because it was just absolutely fabulous so yeah that was my video for today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below letting me know some of your most inspiring impactful amazing books that you have read they don't have to be about women today is women's day that's why i've made this uh, video but any inspiring impactful powerful book that you've read let me know down in the comments so that i can also read them and feel very inspired and empowered but yeah that's it for my video do subscribe to my channel for more book related videos and i'll see you guys next time bye